Hi, I'm Harlan. I'm the owner here at Dream 4x4. We specialize in Jeep Wranglers. That is what we love here. We like to work on them. We like to service them. We love to sell them. So we buy, sell, and do everything Jeep Wrangler here. But today, we're here to discuss how to fix an electronic sway bar disconnect out of a Jeep Rubicon. That would be a 2007 or newer Jeep Rubicon. They all have the same thing going on. actually convert this because the cost of fixing this uh, from the factory is about $1,300, $1,380 plus tax. And we've got to install it and install it. So what we're going to show you is how to fix this yourself for $90. Okay? And basically we're going to convert it from electric to manual and we'll show you how that works. The manual piece we're using is this one which is made by Evo. And it's $90. And it's just a manual deal, and we'll show you how you need to do this with places. So, before you replace that, I'm going to have Troy show you what you need to do to take and look for to prep this to make sure it's good. Because you want to make sure it's clean and operating smoothly before you put it back together, even with the manual setup. So, walk through, Troy, what we had to do for this. All right, first thing you want to do is disconnect your sway bar disconnect motor. Just push a small button, flip the lever. Disconnect our sway bar links, one on each end. We have four bolts that hold it up to your frame. All right, you want to disconnect your 18 millimeter sway bar disconnect bolts on both sides. Just remove this bolt right here to the bracket. Now, clearly, we cheated here. We loosened all this stuff before we started. Next, you want to remove three 15 millimeter bolts out of your motor. See how fast that was? <laughs> the next thing you want to do is make sure you're functioning internally. <coughs> you can use a long screwdriver for that. You have a small cup down here. You're going to want to make sure that functions properly and slides freely. You can see this one does. That releases your sway bar. It's going to it free to move. If this is not releasing freely, then you need to take this piece apart and clean and put that together. We'll show you how that's done. All right, upon opening, just inspect your parts. Make sure everything's well lubricated. If not, some grease on there. As you can see, all these parts are well lubricated, free moving. Upon initial inspection on this, this piece was not lubricated, had some small rust on there. Uh, took a wire brush, re-lubricated everything. Um, as you put it back together, everything freely moves now. There's two little dowels right there that you'll line up. Then you're ready to go back together. Make sure your spring has the lubrication. Uh, once you've reassembled the, the housing, you want to go ahead and use your screwdriver. Make sure it's free sliding now. Uh, just recheck your work and make sure you accomplish what, what you set out to do. All right, so the next part is to install our manual actuator here. You're going to use your factory 15 millimeter bolts that you removed initially. So as you can see, when it's installed, it's locked. And then, when you reinstall on the car to unlock it, you simply screw this in, like this, and you saw it unlocked right there, or heard it, nonetheless. And now you can see it is unlocked, and that's how it works. And then to relock it, of course, you just bring it back out, and it'll move around, and it locks back in. That is your $90 fix to a $1,400 problem.